Well, I think one of the challenges once we start to have some of this data in the in the preliminary or even slightly later stages in the perioperative setting is that it becomes the wild, wild west, right? So it starts being employed and used all the time off trial, and that can really cloud our ability to make some of those refinements, like I mentioned, about when to give it and who to give it to. So I think that the results from the PROSPER trial will be really important. That's um, where they were given one dose of um, immunotherapy prior and then maintenance um, afterwards, after nephrectomy. That will be really important to see the results. Um, but I think that you know we should continue to try and identify data-driven ways to study this problem such that when we're putting patients on these therapies, we can be a little bit more um, informed and use it to create data that really drives outcomes. As as opposed to just giving it to all kinds of patients or a really heterogeneous cohort where we're not really going to be able to derive, uh, see who derives the most benefit.